Hi Darkroom Core users, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we're going to go over how to add a custom page size to Darkroom Core. Um, this would be used for uh, if you're printing on a roll printer and you want to print a size that the printer is able to do, but it's not available in Darkroom. And we will use 8 by 15 for example. So let's go ahead and the first step is going to darkroomsupport.com and we're going to uh, click on the search and type in custom and we're looking for this article right here. How do I add a custom print size to Darkroom Core? So it'll have the steps here but what we want is this file right here. We're going to go ahead and download it. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is click show in folder. And we'll go ahead and minimize this. <clears throat> Create a new window or open a new window and browse to the X drive. And we want to take the file from inside the zip file and just drag it straight into the X, X drive. Um, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and double click on that INI file and what I like to do is just to make sure I get all the formatting correctly Oops. Um, copy a line paste it and then edit so 15 and then um, what we're gonna do is take that first number and multiply it by um, by 300 so that gives us uh, 2400 and then we're going to take the second number and multiply it by 300 and <clears throat> that will give us 4500 um, we'll go ahead and save it close it and we can close darkroom now and when we reopen it should be updated with that new custom page size. So we'll go to this package group, click add local print item, scroll down to the very bottom of this group and click custom sizes and there's my 8 by 15. Um, it's uh, important to remember that you have to also enable that page size on your printer. I'm using a DX100 so if I double click on this printer now and go to advanced choose print sizes select my 8 inch prints I'm going to scroll uh, you want to make sure this option is checked right here and scroll all the way to the right and make sure you check to allow that page size to print on that roll size I hope this has been helpful thank you very much for watching